Sam Groth, thanks for joining us on WeAreTennis.com. Congratulations, you've got a big smile on your face, and rightly so, you've qualified for Wimbledon. How good does that feel? No, I mean, it's an unbelievable feeling. You know, you are, you know, it's, it's the only Grand Slam where if you don't qualify, you don't get to step on the actual site. So, you know, playing out here at Roehampton, it's, uh, you know, a bit, of a bit of a tough week. Everyone's fighting, you know, fighting for that, that spot. And, you know, to get through today, it's a, it's a great feeling. Tell me how tough it is, because we hear about how difficult it is to play qualifying at any event, but especially when it's Wimbledon and everybody wants to get in. And there's always complaints about the grass courts at Roehampton and stuff like that. Tell me how tough it is. No, I mean, it's very tough, you know. It's, it's the only Grand Slam where you've got to play best of five sets on the last day as well. And you know, the courts here at Roehampton have been getting better and better each year, but, you know, they're still, on, <laughs> still not quite as good as the courts at Wimbledon. But, you know, it's, uh, it's tough to qualify to any Grand Slam. Um, you know, and, and you know, for me today, I played Simone Bellelli, a guy that's made third round at, at Wimbledon twice in the main draw. So, you know, it's not, not an easy last round of qualies either, especially after I, I lost to him in the last round of the French Open uh, qualies. So, you know, again, I say for me, it's, it's an unbelievable feeling. And, you know, I've played, played three tough matches and, you know, really happy. The, you know, when you set out the start of the year, is, is something like this one of the targets, one of the aims? Yeah, I mean, ever since I was a kid, I wanted to play at Wimbledon as well. So, you know, obviously for me this year, coming onto a surface that, that suits me a lot, obviously grass is a, a surface for me that suits my game. So, you know, volley and you know, playing an aggressive style, but, um, you know, to qualify at any Grand Slam, I, I've never done that before. So that was a huge goal of mine. And, um, you know, especially coming in this week, I had a great week in Nottingham last week. I lost the final there to Kyr Nick Kyrgios in two tiebreakers. And, I know grass is a surface for me that I can do really well on, so, you know, obviously, like I said, Simone was always going to be a tough opponent and that sort of thing, but for me it was a surface um, and a week that I, I genuinely believed coming in here that I was going to qualify. Give, me, give us an idea of how tough it is out there generally. Um, you haven't cracked the top 100, you're getting very close. Um, the struggle it is financially, mentally, physically, all that. Yeah, I mean, it's tough. The, the sport's gotten a lot tougher over the years as well. And obviously, prize money's increasing at those lower levels in Grand Slams and stuff. But, you know, if you're not making those main draws week in, week out, it gets tough. But, um, you know, for me, probably the last two years have started to get better. You know, my doubles ranking's gone up, you know, really fast. I'm 40 in the world in doubles now after the French Open. And, um, you know, last year I probably didn't put any money away, but I was able to really cover my costs, you know, for the, for the first time, which at 25 is probably, you know, pretty amazing. You know, I, I was never one of those guys that cracked it really young. It's sort of been a hard slog for me. And even though 26 is not old, um, this year for the first time in my career, I feel like I'm, I'm doing well and I'm financially getting better and I'm really close to cracking that top 100. And, you know, on the back of the semis of the doubles in Paris, you know, I've got a lot of confidence and, you know, now I'm you know, probably one win next week away from being major at the US Open, so it's a, it's a great step for me. It's a great incentive, isn't it? To, to, to have that a, a carrot hanging in front of you, but it has also add the pressure? Um, when I was younger, I always felt a lot of pressure. Um, for me now, I feel like I've sort of gotten over that a little bit. Um, I've gotten over that hump of walking out on court and feeling like if I don't win this match, how am I going to get to the next tournament and that sort of stuff. So. Obviously, for a lot of guys, there's always that that problem where they don't know where where I guess the next you know big check's going to come from or how they're going to support themselves for a long period of time. But you know, I, I try not to think about that as much as possible and just worry about what I got to do on the court. And I feel like if I do that, you know, I'm going to give myself the best chance to win matches, and then you know the uh, the, the paychecks take care of themselves. I guess. Did Did you ever consider that maybe it's time to give it away? In that, you know, the the top 100 hadn't happened there. Were, Good results, mediocre results and all that? I mean, I walked away. You know, in 2011, yeah. I actually stopped. I went and played Australian Rules footy in Melbourne, so I actually stopped completely. You know, I had, at the time, I had no intention to come back and play. And, um, you know, I had shoulder surgery and, you know, a few other things forced me away. But, you know, now I've come back. Um, I, have a, I have a different outlook on things. Um, you know, I'm applying myself day in, day out. And um, that's probably the biggest thing that's changed, you know, is, is making tennis a 365 day a year job. You know, a job I love doing, but a, a job for 365 days a year. Not sort of every day when I feel like it. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, Was it like that before? No, it wasn't necessarily that bad, but you know, you sort of get caught up in just doing things every week. You know, it, one week rolls into the next week, rolls into the next yeah. week. And, you know, you almost feel like you're treading, treading water a little bit. You know, you're doing the same thing as you did last week and you're doing the same thing as you did last month and the same thing as you did last year. And 
um, for me having that break and stepping away and now you know I, I'm lucky that I've got a coach Ben Mathias that we've you know got an unbelievable relationship and he understands I guess how to manage me as a person because the, the, you know tennis is such an individual sport and you know everyone's so different that I'm lucky now that I have a coach that's sort of found the best way to get the best out of me and um, you know I'm 26 I'm not old but I'm not you know I'm not young you know I'm old enough to realize now what I need to do and you know I feel like I'm going things about things a lot more professionally and, and in a lot more mature, mature mature way but it also seems last couple of questions but it also seems these days players are maturing a little bit later yeah I mean it's it's, it's such a physical game as yeah. well and um, week in week out you know it's becoming so hard to get into that top 100 and such a slog that you've got to play 40 weeks a year 35 weeks a year and you know, for a lot of the young kids, it's tough to be away from home for that long, and it's tough to, you know, have your body in the physical shape to be away, you know, to be on tour week in, week out. And, you know, the guys at the top are, are so good physically, you know, you don't have anybody in that top 100 anymore who's not physically, you know, some sort of an animal. Um, and so f you get the freaks, freaks, I say yeah, freaks, I but agree. the young guys that come through who are really, really good. But for most of the guys, it's a lot of hard work and it's, uh, it's a real journey. Yeah, and the last question is, you know, as you were saying about walking away from it, doing something else and all that, if there was some other young player in a similar situation to you, what sort of advice would you give them? Um, I think, you know, work out if this is really what you want to do. I mean, it, it, it is a day, it's a, a job you do every single day. And like I said, it's a job that I love doing. Um, you know, find someone that you trust and really listen to them as well. That was probably one of my things when I was young. You know, you sort of, you know, duck off, duck, water off a duck's back a little bit. You know, sometimes. Um, and now I feel like you know I'm able to take information on. If someone tells me something, you know, you take him, take take as much information on as you can. There's plenty of guys who've been there and been in the situation that you're going to be in. So, you know, it's uh, it's a journey. Enjoy it, but you know, really try to apply yourself. Sam Grohl, thanks very much for your time. Aries, thank you.